see those ones at the back they're like probably the worst and they're gonna probably die like today um i think there's like three that one's not sick that one is also sick um i don't know if that one's sick pretty much you can tell when they've got like a really sunken in stomach So, I'm not sure. I think that's the one that fell on the floor of that fish right there. Um, but see how that one's like more pale? I don't know if that's necessarily because that one's infected or if it's because like of the heat. Because I had to make it hot because apparently you're supposed to use, um, supposed to be 35 can kill it. But the thing was the heat was like stressing them out like so much. So that one is like healthy. So I'll probably leave that one there. So you see that hole um, on its head, like that is um, a symptom that it has a disease. I think these ones are all right though. But they're gonna be a lot better though when I remove um, most of these other fish. Somehow these dwarf chain loaches just haven't gone sick. That could be fine. So like one way of telling if they have it or not is like when you feed them if they actually eat and they actually swallow that's a good sign and they're not sick if they don't eat um they're sick um and obviously if they're thin like that and then that kind of behavior so all of those are literally gonna die those ones down there Not sure how many of those ones at the top, let's see. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I thought it was the best thing, but this was really inconvenient with the tub being there because, like, the tub was actually bigger than this. So it's gonna be here. Because it's like tough, and then I can be empty and clean.